Welcome to the Phoebe way if you are a returning subscriber you are most welcome back today's video as you can see from the title is about the Chanson Aufenthaltsrecht some people call it Chanson Bleiberecht what we're going to do today is I'm going to tell you about the some general information about it who it is for so who is eligible for it how does it even work for that person once the person has applied for it and then the things that you have to prove for you to be able to get the permanent residence after you have applied for the Chancen Bleiberecht or Chancen Aufenthaltsrecht and then why you should apply for it, what are the benefits of this and how you apply. So if you want to read along, if you want to have detailed information at your own pace, just go to the Phoebe Way, www.thephoebeway.de and the blog post is there so you can just reach out and I mean not reach you can also reach out to me yes but you can just um, go on there and get the information for yourself as well so um, the Chancenbleiberecht or the Chancenaufenthaltsrecht is designed for people or foreigners in Germany who are here on a st tolerant status and have not yet acquired a legal stay this is to help them break the cycle of always extending their duldung. This is to help them get to work because a lot of people on duldung or many people on duldung are not allowed to work. So this is to break that cycle of endless duldung state and status, right? The Schanzenaufenthaltsrecht has now been stipulated or yeah, it has been enshrined since December 2022 and it's now according to paragraph 104C of the residence law. So now who is it for? It is for any foreigner who is tolerated, permitted, or has a residence permit basis, or has a resident permit basis. And this person must have resided in the country going back from 31st of October 2022. That person should have been in Germany for five years. So by 31st of October, yes, 31st, right. By 31st of October 2022, should have been in Germany for five years without interruption. Any interruption of, let's say, three months or less is not a problem. It does not endanger you, but you should not have left the country maybe for a year and come back. That would not qualify you. But the whole time you should have been in Germany at a time should be five years. This person who is eligible should have to commit themselves to the, let me say, should have to commit themselves the free democratic basic order of the Federal Republic of Germany. So you should have accept, you should have to accept how the country Germany is being run and you should not have been convicted of any intentional criminal offense. Some people have been um, convicted before but they've had what they call this um, so when it comes to that those targets that those daily rates shouldn't be more than 50 daily rates or for criminal offenses that are severe it should be more than 90 days okay so if you have had a criminal case just remember that this does not apply if you have less than 90 days or less than 50 days also people who have committed crimes that only asylum seekers or can can only be um punished according to the asylum law those people those crimes do not also um counts they are not these crimes are not considered when they are considering who has been convicted before or not right and also if you have been convicted of juvenile crime law you also do not um you are not endangered so juvenile crime law asylum law or the less than 50 daily rates or the less than 90 daily rates so those four things do not count when they are counting the criminal offenses so one, you should have been in Germany for five years by 31st of October without major interruption. Two, you should commit to the free democratic um, state Germany. And then four, you should have not been convicted of a crime. Okay, and the crimes have exceptions. How does it work? After you have applied with this first um, step, after you apply, you have 18 months to prove integration German proficiency and also you have to prove that you can take care of yourself financially mostly by yourself so you you are working 
you have learned the German language, you have to prove A2. And also your identity has to be verified and clarified. So you have to show your passport, show that yes, I'm from this country, this or that. And if you cannot show your passport after 18 months, at least you should be able to show that you have made an effort and you are still waiting for a reply. After you have proved these things, you are now eligible for the permanent residence, okay? And then you'll be given the legal stay. That is the thing about this. So once you have been able to prove these things that I've talked about, you'll be given the legal stay. And if you do not, you are not able to prove any of these things, you go back to the duldung. You are given the duldung again. So this one and a half years that you are given as a chance to get things in order, make use of it and make sure that you are able to prove everything so you can get your legal stay. Now, what are the benefits of you getting the Aufenthaltsrecht, okay? You can work either as an employee or as a self-employed person. That is a major bonus. So you don't always have to look for a job. If you have an idea and you want to work on it, entrepreneurial ideas, this is going to help you do it. And also, you know when you have this restriction on where you can live, and um, some people call it the Landkreis, yes, that one is lifted, okay? So you can live wherever you want to stay. You can move closer to work if work is going to be a problem. You can move closer to work to make things easier for you. That is a big thing that a lot of people are sleeping on. You can travel in and out of the country. Within those first 18 months that you are gathering yourself, you can travel in and out of the country. You can also get social benefits such as Burger Geld, the job center services, you can get Arbeitslosengeld, etc. As long as you qualify for them, you don't always have to. You can't. You don't even get the Azul Bewerber um, Leistung anymore. You get straight to the regular social benefits. You can also work towards the Niederlassungserlaubnis. That is the um, residence permit, the settlement permit. Sorry, you can get the settlement permit, and with that, you can also have your family join you. With just the your family cannot join you, but once you have the Niederlassungserlaubnis, your family can join you in Germany. And people under 27 years, that five years that you are counting back, yours can actually be slashed to three years if you already have the integration and you can prove that you have made, um, you have actually made, um, progress when it comes to integration you can prove that you have done integration courses you have learned the language and all of that it doesn't have to be five years three years would also suffice one good thing about the chancen of Unheitsrecht is that once one family member is eligible it covers the entire family unit as long as the let's say the children in this family are not married for example and they are all living in the same house as the family unit it covers that entire family and that is one thing that families should also look into to see whether the father is eligible or the mother is eligible. Because sometimes the, the spouses don't come to Germany at the same time. One person comes before the other. So look into that. How do you apply? You should go to the Ausländerbehörde next to you or in your area. That is the immigration office, the Ausländerbehörde. And then you ask them for the form. Some already have the form prepared. Some have them online. Some you have to go there and they will take your details and everything. But go there and it can take between four, four to six weeks for you to get the initial stage but it is also possible that your other behavior is just overwhelmed at the moment so it can take a longer time so just bear that in mind if you need help do not hesitate just reach out to us at info at the or just go on our website the and book a session and we'll talk about it and gather all your documents so that you can apply thanks for watching guys if you need any other information, as I said, our website is there, um, our email is here, so just reach out to us and we'll gladly be of help. Have a great day and see you on the next one. Bye!